This is a tutorial for the icon one page scroll navigation menu. When you click on an icon and it scrolls down to the section, the tooltip stays on and you can also use your website scroll bar to scroll down and the tooltip will also turn on once it meets its section. I'm going to show you step by step how you can set this up. Let's get started. To get started, drag the icon one page scroll navigation widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it shows icons and when you hover on each icon, it will show a tooltip. Once clicking on one of the icons, it will scroll down to the exact section with the same ID that you gave the icon. So I'm going to take you over this and show you how you can customize it to your website needs and, and I'm going also to show you how you can use this inside of your website. So before we're going to get started with the widget settings, the first thing I want to do is create three sections that we're going to use this navigation menu to scroll to. So let's do this really quickly. So I'm going to click once on plus to add new section, one column section, and I'm going to drag inside a heading. I'm going to call this section one. Let's align the text to the center, jump into the section settings, height, fit to screen just so each one of these has some height and in style I'm going to give each section a different background color so let's do this one and let's just change the text to white so that's the first part let's duplicate this and call the second one two and over here we'll give this a different background color duplicate it and call this number three and give the section a different background color so we got our website set up and of course in your website there's going to be all sorts of content inside but this is just an example so i think we're good to go one two three the next thing is to give each section an id now where do you do this you click on the section Inside of the advanced tab, over here in CSS ID, I'm going to call it one and etc. etc. Let's do this for the second one, number two, and number three. Awesome. Next part, let's jump into the widget itself. And over here in the widget itself, we don't want it to be on the top of our website, but we want it to scroll down as we scroll down using a, a, our browser to scroll down. So click on the widget once, go into the advanced tab positioning, and over here I'm going to change the width to inline auto. Awesome. Now, once I've done that, it's tapped to the left. In position, I'm going to choose fixed, and over here we can snap this to the right, and to that's it I mean this is a good place for it to be what we need to do we can space it out a little bit so let's offset let's do like 50 and maybe from the top offset I'm gonna do more maybe we can do this in VH so it will be exactly in the middle awesome so that's how you place it now we're left with a white gap on top so we can actually move this section to the bottom. We don't need it to be at the top. So I can just collapse all my sections using the navigator and I can drag this section to the bottom and uh, the position itself of the icons won't be affected because they're positioned absolute. And as we scroll down, we can see the different sections. Awesome. So click on the widget itself again and inside of content, we can decide uh, about the alignment. I mean, the alignment means where the tooltip will be. So if you want to switch the tooltip to be on the different side, you can do that. And now you can see that when I hover over this, the tooltip is on the right side. So let's move this to the left and start customizing it. So content and style. And over here, we can decide about the icon size. So you can see, when I move this slider, it makes the icon inside bigger. If I want to make the square outside bigger, you can also do that. The icon will always stay 
centered inside of the square background. Let's do a dark color and maybe hover. We can change it to white. So something like that and icon color. Let's do white and change it to black on hover. So it's kind of doing an invert when we hover over it. And over here, we can decide the space between the icons. If you want less space between the different icons, you can choose a different space. Right now, we're using a margin for this, so it's kind of easy to change. Let's jump into tooltip. Inside of tooltip, we have the tooltip color, the text color inside, and the tooltip background. I'm just going to change the background to black just so it suits our icon design and it also contrasts with the background you can change the tooltip text typography if you want to change it to any different font family or something like that you have all of the settings over here even make the font size bigger let's say so everything is set up the last part and the most important part is setting up the items so i'm just going to click on one of the items over here and in title i'm going to give it the name one and in section id which this is actually the most important part. I'm going to write over here one. Now you can see that it turned on. And the reason it turned on is that right now we're inside of section one. So it's really, really smart the way it works. And let's do the other ones and we'll give a demonstration of how we navigate using the scroll bar and also using, using the quick anchor points. So. This one is number three. I got them all set up. Of course, each one of these, you can change the icon if you want to give it a different icon and you're all set up. So let's start using the scroll bus. So as I scroll down, you can see that once I've navigated to section number two, tooltip number two is on. And once I navigate to section number three, tooltip number three is on. That's the first way to navigate using the scroll bar. And the second way to navigate is clicking on the icon and then it just scrolls up to the exact section and turns on the tooltip. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.